Today we're going to multiply by a multi-digit number. So far this chapter we've done two digit by one digit multiplication. Today we're going to get to three and four digit times one digit numbers. We can use all our same strategies. I could use repeated addition. I could use place value blocks. I can use area models or we can just use the standard method. For this first example I am going to use an area model but instead of two parts of this rectangle there's going to be three because we have hundreds, tens, and ones. So I broke my 234 apart into those 234. We're going to do the same thing, five times four Multiplier 1's first, which is 20. If I was doing this over here on the left, I'd do the same thing. Multiply the 1's first. 5 times 4 is 20. Then I multiply the 10's, so 5 times 30. 5 times 3 is 15. And then a 0, so 150. If I was doing that on the left, same thing. 5 times 30. It's 150. And then I multiply my hundreds. 5 times 200 is 1,000. So if I did that on the left, 5 times 200 is 1,000. Then I add my three parts up. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 2 plus 5 plus 0 is 7. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus nothing is 1. So 1,170. So all those same strategies can still help us. I don't want to keep having to draw pictures though anymore. Hopefully we're starting to get past that, but we have those in our toolbox if we need them. So I wrote this problem twice. We can break it apart like I just did. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 40 is 80. 2 times 300 is 600. And add them together and get 690. Or we can do that at the top as we go instead of all at the end. So if I have 2 times 5, that's 10. I can't fit 10 in my 1's place, so... I put that 10 in my 10's place, and I have nothing left for my 1's. 2 times 4, 10's is 8 10's, plus I have that 1 extra 1, which gives me 9 10's. And then 2 times 300's equals 6 hundreds, and I just put that 6 in my 100's place. And I get the same answer, 690. Both of these work great. But one takes a lot less writing, it's a little more efficient. So I'm going to do one more example. One thousand two hundred thirty-four times six. So now we're going to get to the thousands. I actually think I'm going to do two more examples. Because this is our first one with thousands. But we do the same thing. Once you get the pattern of this, you could do a 10 digit by 1 digit number and it's going to be just as easy or just as hard. It's just going to take you a little bit longer. So we start with our 1's. We always start with our 1's. So 6 times 4 is 24. Put my 20 as two tens. My 4 and the 1's. 6 times 3 tens is 18 plus I have 2. So 18 plus 2 is 20. So I put my 2 in the hundreds, my 0 in the tens. Then multiply my hundreds. 6 times 2 hundreds is 12. Plus the 2 extras is 14. Then I multiply my thousands. 6 times 1,000 is 6 thousands. Plus 1 is 7. So I get 7,404.
And that's my answer. I do want to check my work, though. The easiest way to check your work is um, with rounding. So I make that 1,234 a 1,000 times 6. I multiply the 6 times the 1. It's 6. This has three zeros, so this will have three zeros. Since I rounded down, it's going to be an underestimate. And since it started at 1,234, and I changed it to 1,000, that's 234 less that I'm not multiplying the 6 by. So I know it's going to be a decent chunk bigger. So 7,404 is still reasonable. So we're good with that one. And I'm going to do one more example in the thousands. So here we go. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20, plus the 1 is 21. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 2 is 30. And then 4 times my 9 is 36, plus 3 is 39. And I check it. I look at my greatest place value to 9, the number after it's a 7. So I'm going to make that 9 one bigger, I'm going to make it a 10. So it's going to be 10,000 times 4. 1 times 4 is 4, and I have 4 zeros. So 4 zeros gives me 40,000, which is going to be a little bit over the real answer, which it is, so I'd say that is reasonable. Okay, here's your first practice problem. I'll start you off with the hundreds. So 634 times 3. Go ahead and pause. If you're stuck, you can go back and watch those examples again, and then unpause it when you're done. Okay, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, 3 times 6 is 18, plus 1 is 19. Check it, and we get 1,800, which is very close to 1,902, so that is reasonable. Practice problem 2. Now we're in the thousands, 5,132 times 4. Go ahead and pause. 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And 4 times 5 is 20. So 20,528. 5,132 rounds to 5,000. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 zeros gives you 20,000, and that is reasonable. Okay, two problems today, one in the hundreds, one in the thousands. So problem number one is 678 times 4, and problem two is 3,249 times 9. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.